Hello. Uh, been reading a little bit of some of my mom's letters. My mom's dead for if you don't know. Uh, I'll link to the video where I talk about the um, that happening, what happened and stuff. I've been meaning, well not meaning, but I've been wanting to talk about it again. Part of that video that I'm referring to talks about how I kind of never want to talk about this again. It's been on my mind though. Especially with um, recent events, right? Um, but anyways. Uh, I've missed my mom very much. Very much. And um, it is one of those things where I did take her for granted. Not on purpose or anything. You know, it's just a, when you have something in your normal daily life, like it's it's normal, you know. Um, so I did appreciate her, like I did, I loved her very much, but, um, I do have a lot of regret, you know, for sure. Anyways, uh, so I don't have really anything of her, not really. Uh, a lot of stuff happened. I never went through her things, really. I guess I just never wanted her to really be gone, I didn't realize it, you know, I thought that I had, um let her go but i you know it's not like i wouldn't miss her or anything but when when she died like it was almost a relief not it was a relief because she was in constant pain for a long time like just a lot of pain all the time for years um anyways so i asked my sister recently if we had had letters that mom had written because I think I must have remembered that before we were moving and whatever and after my mom died or something I must have remembered that my sister mentioned um, our mom's letters because I asked her about it but I couldn't remember like anything other than I, I thought my sister had mentioned the letters so I was really glad that she decided to keep them um, there are some things that I remember getting rid of like I got rid of my notes from my mom and I wish I had those I'd had notes from her for most of my life, like since we were kids, when she got us back from the foster home. She's left us notes all the time, before school, after school, like um, just kind of notes everywhere, little I love you notes, little, little, just little fun notes, you know, I guess inspirational or whatever, that kind of a thing, which also reminds me. I sort of understand the, um, mentality of of wanting to tell others like you can do it i believe in you you know when the reality is not based on your talent it's just based on who you know and maybe some luck but anyways I was reading some of mom, my mom's letters, and she was, <clears throat> these are letters to one of her uh, psychiatrists, I guess, or multiple psychiatrists, I don't, I can tell they're different doctors because the names she's writing to, um, but uh, one of the things that I didn't realize, because my, I talked a little bit to my sister about this, I always thought of my mom as strong. You know, it's the way she was for us as a mother. But she was depressed and she had a lot of dark thoughts. And I'm reading her letters and I'm like, this is all like like I'm reading something I wrote, you know. <laughs> That's kind of funny because um it's not just a personal thing, it's not because she was my mom, it's it's just depression in general, you know, sadness in general, like that kind of a thing. Like were I if I mean if you watch TV or movies you're familiar with any of those emotions or whatever because they're put on there a lot you know um, but it's really weird because I I've told people before and like, I'm like I know I'm not the only one depressed or whatever you know I I know I'm not the only one sad I know I'm not the only one that has these feelings and thoughts. But I did not know my mom had the same exact ones, you know. Um, and that's sad and interesting. That's very sad. 
uh, especially when I think back to how I mistreated her, you know, how mean I was to her. Uh, now, here's the thing, okay, my mom was not a bitch, you know. She was a very loving mother, very loving mother. I was just uh, spoiled, I guess, you know, and for a poor person, okay? Don't even, don't even, man. Um, spoiled in love, all right? Um... <laughs> That's funny. Um, so, you know, I would get mad at her and whatever. I, I don't, you know, whatever. But I I think I, I've also been thinking back to on that a lot. I'm like, I don't even know. I I wish I had never gone to school. I wish I had been homeschooled. I wish we had a different situation living when we grew up and stuff. I wish we were not poor. We were fucked. And I'm still fucked. It's just a fact. Anyways, um, it's just weird and sucks to see that my mom was so depressed. And what's very strange to me is, I mean, I never knew. I knew she had had sadness, you know, sometimes. Um, the, the one thing I knew was, was her being eternally upset over my brother's death. Um, happened to have, uh, blonde hair and blue eyes, by the way. I don't know if you are aware of that, uh, that kind of a thing. But yeah, my brother, natural, blonde hair, blue eyes. It's funny. Really wish I had treated her better. And, um, and, uh, I don't, I mean, I, she was pretty messed up and whatever health wise towards the end, but if I had not trusted the experts, I think she'd still be here. I don't know. I mean, it's quite possible she wouldn't, but. Never again, it's too late. It's too late. Another thing I think about all the time is uh, my friends, who I miss very much. Um, these are people I would get angry with or whatever, but I mean, I still thought of them as friends, you know. One thing I, I learned in the past few years is, well, <clears throat> no, I, I learned it my whole life. I just didn't realize how bad it was. You just, you can't be honest with people. Kind of. I mean, kind of. You can't be direct with people. You have to use fancy, sugary words, you know. Um, ugh, gross. Anyways, no, I mean, I sort of get it. I mean, I can be mean without meaning to be mean, and I don't have to say it in a mean way, you know, but I mean, give me, I don't have to say it in a kind way either. Like, let's just be real and honest about something. If you say something stupid, you said something stupid. It's just, it's just the way it is, man. Like, who cares, man? Freaking out. Learn the lesson and move on. Um, anyways, no, I mean, <laughs> it depends on the uh, different things, you know, whatever. Sometimes, sometimes we can take uh, something, you know, that's rude or insulting and, and move forward. But other times it just depends, right? Depends on them. Um, just different things. <sighs> Anyways. Yeah, so now I'm... Well. I don't know. It's just very strange, <clears throat> very strange to read things that my mom wrote that I would write almost exactly the same way that she did, almost exactly the same way.
I'm telling you it and she still had hope too you know she tried to keep upbeat and whatever but that's something I've um I've never tried to do well I can't say never it's I stopped pretending a lot of things in uh in high school like in my last year of high school I don't know what happened <laughs> I don't know what happened I don't remember um something just one day I just decided to stop pretending I don't remember why I just got sick of it man I think I was just like all right I'm done <laughs> Um, <clears throat> doesn't mean I haven't been fooled, and, you know, I've definitely been fooled. I've definitely believed a lot of bullcrap. But one thing that I could never understand is, is the money stuff. Like, our wages and, and the price of the cost of living has is, is literally never made sense to me. Because I've never been wealthy. Never been middle class. So I just, um... I don't believe in uh, motivational hopeful message those are all lies to me they're just lies i want to slap people for saying just the stupid i'm just like i just want to slap them uh and it sucks man it does like i'm <sighs> i don't i've never enjoyed the idea of being a donor right you know um but let's be real let's be real I don't know why uh, the middle class people are so threatened by poorer people than them. I don't, that's what it seems like. You ever discuss things? I don't, never mind. That's another discussion. But that's why, man. That's why so many things. Every single person that says money can't be buy happiness is a dumb, lying, stupid sack of shit. You can lie to yourself, you can lie to others all you want. I'll never believe you because it's retarded. It's brainless. It's brainless. I'm not saying um, money is, well, <laughs> reminds me of 30 Rock line. That's so funny. Um, I don't even remember how it goes. It just reminds me because I was just thinking about it. Like, um, money is happiness. And I'm like, was it? I think Liz Lemon said something like, I know, I know money can't buy happiness. And Jack said, I, I forget exactly how it went down, but Jack was like, no, money is happiness. Because <laughs> uh, it, it can. I mean, that doesn't mean you'll be a happy person just because you can buy anything. But let's not pretend that wouldn't change your life. I am so sick of every one of you that still pretends I can't believe you pretend. I can't believe that you lie to yourself. Not only do you lie to yourself, but you try to lie to me. You try to lie to everybody around you. Why? Because you believe something so fucking stupid that you have to have other people believe how fucking stupid you are. That's how stupid you are. Um. Anyways, sorry. That's, but it drives me nuts, man. Like, like you know what? You're going to tell me that? Give me your money. Give it to me. Give me your money. And then say it's not about money. Give it to me. I never will. Never will. Oh, you need to earn it. <laughs> That's so funny, man. That's funny. Meanwhile, you can still say that crap. You know, I, screw your brainless garbage. Um, honestly, like, just... You're a waste of life. But whatever. I can't say I'm not, you know, kind of, I don't, whatever. That's just out of um, sadness, depression, anger, whatever. But I mean, I'm just sick of people being stupid, man. You can't. Money is everything. In society. Not life. Not life. But in society to survive, um, you know, money's required. Unless you somehow have another way, right? Like, uh, but... <laughs> Think about it. Think about any other way, right? 
It would be if you were just rich and you just happened to... You don't need the money because everything you have has just always been there, you know? Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's weird. I didn't mean to say all that, and I don't know if I'm going to upload this. I, I've been recording a lot of stuff lately to record thoughts just to share, and I have not been uploading them. I used to upload them, and now I'm like, I don't even want to share this with anybody. I don't... I mean, I kind of do. I, I need to talk to somebody and not... I don't know, but, um, <laughs> you know, back to my mom, anyways, um, very, very weird and sad and sucks because I was, <laughs> I was like in my twenties, my mid twenties and my thirties when, when she was writing these things and she felt so alone, she felt so alone and I sort of get it. You know, um, I have my sister. I live with my sister. I love her very much. But um, we're in different worlds. And uh, I am... We're going to see if we can put our worlds together. We've tried it before. It didn't work out. But uh, things just changed. Um, we weren't expecting to have a roommate. Uh, just stuff, you know, whatever. So um, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to bring our worlds together and something. I don't know. See what happens there, because we are still. I don't know. I don't know, man. But um. Anyways, that's part of the uh the whole. You know, it's funny to me. Like, and one of the things that people will say to to depress people is like, "Oh, you're not alone." Like, no duh. You know, right? I've always thought that was funny. I don't. Apparently, that might help some people. I guess. <laughs> I think certain topics, <clears throat> like a topic might make me um, feel better that somebody else is, I, that I'm not insane, that I'm not seeing this, like, I'm not the only one that sees this and thinks it's weird or off or whatever, um, but general depression is not just a, uh, oh, just be happy kind of a thing, it's just not, and people say that as if it's a fix, <laughs> it's so stupid. Um, if it were that easy, that would be cool, I guess. I mean, and I, I sort of understand, right? I sort of do. Because it is a mental thing. It is. I mean, but but here's the thing, man. I mean, it's kind of like, it's kind of like inflation or money and all that. Like, yeah, I can pretend I don't need money. <laughs> I can have happy thoughts. I'd be like, oh, everything's fine. But the fact is, I need to pay the bills. You know, that's a fact. That's not a, I can't happy thought that away you know um so whatever <clears throat> anyways i'm gonna go now bye bye